Hi, my name is Jason Vorbegel, and I am in Music History 2 at Full Sail University. This is my podcast on the Beach Boys album, Pet Sounds. Wouldn't it be nice if we were older, then we wouldn't have to wait so long. And wouldn't it be nice to live together in the kind of world where we belong. When I saw that one of the albums we were going to be studying in detail was by the Beach Boys, my first thought was, Beach Boys? Really? <laughs> Why? However, after being at Full Sail for two years now, you start to tend to listen beyond just the concept of the lyrics and everything. You start really micro-analyzing and critiquing the mixes. With that in mind, when I first put on Pet Sounds, the first track that came up was Wouldn't It Be Nice? And about five seconds into it, I was like, Holy crap, that sounds amazing! Do you hear this? Holy crap! Holy crap! Pet Sounds was the pet project by Beach Boys frontman Brian Wilson. Brian Wilson is a freaking genius. He wrote all the parts, scored all the parts, arranged all the parts, wrote out the sheet music for all the parts by hand, then crammed everyone into a room like so much spam in a can, put microphones up, got everything arranged and all the engineering side of things, and then said, all right, everybody, go. Don't screw up. We come on this loop, John B. My grandfather and me. Around Nassau town, we did roam. What's amazing is the instruments that he actually used. I mean, it's the Beach Boys. You think, surfer band. Cars and chicks. And surfing and chicks. And tans and chicks. It's the Beach Boys. I mean, really. Really. The session musicians he brought in, some of them were the absolute best in the business. You had the jazz guitarist Barney Kessel, bassist Carol Kay. Glenn Campbell played the 12 string guitar for them for crying out loud. I mean, these are some good musicians. previous albums, Brian let the guys in the band play their instruments, guitars, drums, whatever. For this one, the only instrument they were allowed to provide were their vocals, and they were darn good instruments to play. The layers, the harmonies, just the pitch, phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. But the instruments that they used on top of that were so atypical, A, for a surfer group, and B, for just modern pop. Trombones, saxophones, flutes, glockenspiel, tippany drums, two pianos, accordions. It's like the surfer boys made Oktoberfest. I mean, who would put accordions, two accordions, in a surfer album? But he did. And it sounded phenomenal. If you take out the accordions from Wouldn't It Be Nice, the song's just not the same. It's amazing that those specific instruments provided the hook that made that song work. The overall album was so good. Paul McCartney said it was his favorite album. He bought a copy of it and gave it to each one of his children as an educational tool. The words of Paul McCartney, everyone. And I quote, It may be going overboard to say it's the classic of the century. I figure no one is educated musically till they've heard that album. Need I say more? I have to admit, my previous understanding of the Beach Boys was just surfer music and really nice harmonies. However, listening to this album and how Brian Wilson did this has really shifted, it's a subtle shift, but it's shifted my question as I've approached new projects in just the last two weeks. My role in the industry right now is yes, I'm going for a degree from Full Sail. However, I produce local bands. I work with two or three at a time at a studio here in town. I'm also getting into library tracks, uh, symphonic composition for games, cinema, that kind of thing. The question I used to enter a project with was, how should I do this? Now my thought is, how can I do this? How can I do it differently? It's been fun, and I know this album is going to be a reference for my thinking in the years to come. Again, this is Jason Vorpegel for Music History 2 at Full Sail University. 
Thanks so much for listening. Take care, guys. But I'm really glad they didn't make a music video for that. I mean, can you see the accordion guys with their little mustaches up there? All the wax coating it up. <laughs> <laughs> Would have killed it. Just killed it.